Woke CW Network hit with executive layoffs as parent company Nexstar cleans house. This is a continual pattern that we're seeing from all of these different entertainment companies, such as Warner Brothers Under Discovery and Netflix. They are all continuing to trim the fat, to cut out the nonsense, to boot the woke garbage out the door. And this is going to be a continual thing that we are seeing happening as more and more of this woke garbage continues to fail. And these are just a couple of the shows that CW has done recently just to show you just how much of a failure CW has been recently. So we have the Batwoman thing where it sits at 23% rotten from audiences. That is tragically horrific. It's so stupid that, that critics gave this an 83% fresh. Critics are a joke, man. I'm telling you what. And then you also have Tom Swift, another show that has a 24% rotten from, from fans. So as you can see, people are not happy with the continual direction that CW is continuing to go in, which is exactly why this house cleaning is taking place. The woke CW network, which has injected anti-Trump and radical trans ideology into its programming aimed at teens... Whew, uh, has been hit with layoffs at the very top at, as its new parent company, Nexstar, moves to clean house at the struggling network. This is literally just like Warner Brothers all over again. It's absolutely hilarious. On Tuesday, Nexstar laid off between 30 to 40 staffers at the CW, marking the first staffing overhaul in what is expected to be an extensive corporate makeover, Variety reported. Multiple executives were among those cut, including those in public relations, distribution, strategy and affiliate relations as Breitbart News reported CW executives admitted earlier this year that the network isn't making money it's almost like woke garbage doesn't sell who would have thought who is shocked I'm not. It's not. It's no secret that the CW is not profitable. CFL Lee and uh, Glia recently said the network remains one of the least watched on TV with teen-centric shows, including Riverdale, Charmed, and All-American, as well as shows based on DC comic book characters like Arrow, Supergirl, and The Flash. In recent years, CW executives have embraced left-wing politics and wokeism. Supergirl featured a trans character in 2018 and made veiled references to the Trump administration during its third season. Director Robert Rodriguez is developing a Zorro series for the network with a Latinx, Latinx female lead, which is so weird to me because Robert Rodriguez gave us one of the best films that has a Latina female lead that we have had in quite some time with Alita Battle Angel, but you know... Now suddenly it's time to go woke, it's time to forget all of the good stuff that you have made and start to make woke garbage because this is what Hollywood continues to do. They can't help themselves. It's so ridiculous to see that they continue to self-destruct. They continue to bring about their own demise because they are so stubbornly embracing this woke religion that is continuing to sweep throughout our, our country. And the reason for it is not because of the money. It is all about the idea. It is all about the long-term goals of what they can achieve from continuing to push this ideology into our culture, our, our society. So with that being said, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. What do you think about this news with the CW? If you are surprised, let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.